turn your ideas into ready-to-publish videos with InVideo AI, fast and easy. With its generative AI engine, you can create anything you imagine. In this video, I'll show you how, step by step. While the tool has a free version, you'll need a paid plan to unlock the AI styles. Yes, it's not the cheapest, but the visuals and storylines you can create? Totally worth it. Let's dive in. As a first step, we'll create the prompt we'll use for video production. I've prepared a very simple formula for you. You can use this formula to create videos of any length and style you want. Let me explain briefly. First, I specify the length of the video in this prompt. Then I describe what kind of video I want. After that, I mention the niche or topic the video is related to. And finally, I state the style I want the video to be in. With this formula, I've created an example for you. Let me show you the sample prompt. As you can see here, my prompt is as follows. I want a 30 second video in the style of a trailer. I want a trailer for Game of Thrones, a high quality trailer. And lastly, I want it to be in Minecraft style, like a Minecraft themed film. That's really all there is to it. As I said, you can change the details choose any duration, select any type of video, trailer, ad, animation, etc. Pick any topic, food, film, sports, anything that comes to mind. And for the style, you can go with anything you imagine. Now we're ready to move on to video generation. As the second step, we'll create our video. For this, we're using the InVideo AI tool. You can find the link below. Once you open the InVideo app, you'll immediately see the prompt input box. I'll take the prompt we prepared earlier and paste it right here to begin production. The tool starts analyzing the prompt and preparing it. It's doing a sort of pre-processing now. All right, it has finished the preparation. Before starting the video generation, it asked me for a few standard details. Let's fill those in. Instead of using stock media, I want it to use generative AI media. So I select that option first. For the visual style, I'm leaving it as is. Next, it asks about the target audience. Is it for general viewers, fantasy fans, or Minecraft players? I'll leave it as Minecraft players. For the platform, it offers YouTube, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. I'm choosing YouTube because I want a wide format. Now, everything's set. I double-check the inputs and the tool begins generating the video. It analyzes the content, selects music, and begins rendering. This part can take a few minutes, so I'll fast-forward through it. Now, let's see how our draft video looks. In a world of blocks and pixels, soon learn the seven kingdoms await, from Winterfell to King's Landing. Forge alliances, build armies, claim the Iron Throne. Game of Thrones, Minecraft edition, winter is coming in cubes. Yes, I think it's quite nice. I'm actually not planning to make any changes to the scenes when it turned out really cute and lovely. I liked it a lot. I'll just make the voice a bit deeper and add some nice subtitles. I'll make these changes and finalize it. Let me quickly show you how I make these adjustments. I'll use the prompt box below to make the changes. For example, let's first add the subtitles here. And then, I'll change the background music and I will also make the narrator's voice a bit deeper. Now let's watch the video again after changes. In a world of blocks and pixels, the seven kingdoms await, from Winterfell to King's Landing. Forge alliances, build armies, claim the Iron Throne, Game of Thrones, Minecraft edition, winter is coming in cubes. I think it turned out quite nice. After finalizing the video like this, we can click download here. As you can see in a very short time and with a small idea, we've created our final video in minutes. All right, now let's choose the perfect title and thumbnail for our video. I'll do a similar search using Game of Thrones Minecraft to see how short videos are titled. Here's one I found. It's titled Minecraft Animation and features a single scene as the thumbnail. Let's check another one. This video is also titled Minecraft Animation and uses a scene as the thumbnail. There's another one minute video labeled as Minecraft Parody and Minecraft Animation. From what I see, they all use the term Minecraft Animation and select a scene from the video as the thumbnail. We can do something similar. I'm going to take a scene from our video to create the thumbnail. There are many different and beautiful scenes we could use. 
I'm choosing this one with the sword. It's really cool. I'll take a screenshot of that scene. Now I'll go to Canva and select the thumbnail option and upload the image. I upload the screenshot I just saved to my computer. I'll zoom in a little. It looks better that way. Done! It's a very eye-catching thumbnail. A Minecraft character with a Game of Thrones vibe. I'm saving it to my computer now. Next, I'll generate a short video description using ChatGPT. It came up with a nice short one that also includes some keywords. I'll also check what kind of keywords are commonly used in this niche on YouTube. Yes, I can add those relevant keywords too. This will help attract viewers who are searching for similar content. Now we're ready to upload the video. I'll upload the final video we created with InVideo from my computer. For the title, I'll keep it simple, including Minecraft animation and Game of Thrones. We can always update it later based on engagement. I'll paste the description I just created into the description section. Then, I'll upload the thumbnail we just made. At the bottom, there's a section for tags. We can add keywords there. Since I have the vidIQ tool installed on my computer, it's showing some tag suggestions. I do recommend this tool. I'll leave the link in the description for you. Now I'm adding relevant keywords I had prepared, and that's it. Our video is ready. The last step is selecting the public option and hitting publish. You've now learned how to create animated videos on any topic, in any style you like, and upload them to YouTube. I'm sharing the link to NVIDIA AI below. Go ahead and start bringing your ideas to life. And if you use it, please share your experience in the comments below.